I thought I'd film an introduction to this video because I started filming not knowing exactly which parts of the headshot preparation process I guess I would film and I also started filming it very nervous and very much overthinking every element of the headshot process which I really did not need to do so I thought I would introduce it in a more positive way and say it doesn't need to be a stressful process. And I got my headshots done with Tanisha White and I'd really recommend her. I will link to her in the description if you want to get your headshots done with her. Since I'm kind of filming this from the future, I guess, I do have the images and I'm in the process of picking them right now. So I will probably do further content about the images that I pick and I'll probably put them on my Instagram. So if you want to subscribe to see more headshot content and if you want to check out my Instagram, feel free to do so. And in this video I will take you through the process of deciding which outfits I might want to wear, deciding how much makeup, if any, I want to wear for my headshots, and I'll also debrief about the headshot session. So that's what this video is, I hope it's useful in some way. Hello! So it's the night before my headshot session, so I thought I'd talk you through some of the different outfit options, some of the different thought processes I've had behind my headshots, because I think it's something that can feel quite scary, because you're putting a lot of money into getting headshots that will be sent to casting directors, to people who you might audition for or might not audition for based on the headshots. So it feels like a lot of pressure and I feel kind of nervous because it's something I've been putting off for a while. So what I've been doing is asking people I know for their advice and also I've been thinking a lot about my casting type, reading up a lot about headshots because I think it's important to reflect on what kind of roles you want your headshots to get because that's what headshots are at the end of the day. They're like meant to represent your casting type and you to the casting director. So I've been thinking a lot about what people have said about my casting type. I've been reading acting notes from different workshops where people have talked about headshots and I'm just thinking a lot about it, probably overthinking, but I think that's normal and I think that's a normal thing to experience. I just want my headshots to be as good as they can be. So I want to be able to cover more formal and more casual looks. I want to be able to cover like more period pieces and also more modern pieces. And I also want to be able to cover like comedic and also more serious kind of drama things. And I'm looking to get more auditions for TV and film. And that's why I really thought let's get the headshots done now because I really want to be seen more for TV and film. And I think getting a new set of headshots is a way to be taken more seriously, I guess, having some more updated headshots and hopefully then I will get seen for more TV and film. And I'm getting three headshots tomorrow, so with all of that in mind, I've planned out my three key outfits in advance that I think might cover everything that I want to cover, but also I'm going to take extra outfits in case I look at the background or I think on the way there, like, oh, maybe I'll want to wear this, or in case something might not work, I want to be able to feel like I have a lot of options. And I'm also going to try them on tonight, my potential outfits, to make sure that they kind of sit right and look okay, because you don't want something to wear and then like to look at it and think that doesn't actually fit right. So I think my first idea for an outfit is I have this white collared top that is kind of like a little bit formal, a little bit could be like period vibes and I could have my hair down with this one. And then I have a orange top that would be quite like vibrant, young, quirky kind of vibes. And I want to look young for all of these headshots and really use the fact that I can play younger characters at this point in time and I could probably play down to 15. And I also, for the final look, I want to go really more casual and maybe have like a baggy jumper or a baggy hoodie to play those kind of characters who are like young, don't really care what other people think of them because I think you can get into the trap of being like, I want to look really good and have some really cool outfits, but that's not really what it's about. It's about showing what kind of acting you can do and I'm also going to pack a few other options and freshly wash my hair for tomorrow and hope that it turns out looking okay because I feel like my hair can be a little bit temperamental but let's hope for the best so that's my plan for the evening so I've done my makeup and I'm hoping that it's natural enough I was debating for ages whether or not I would wear makeup for headshots but I wear makeup usually for auditions and normally in life I do wear makeup so I just made sure to like blend it really well. I'm no makeup expert but also I learned like usually I'd wear like highlight or something but people say like if you're getting pictures like you don't want anything 
too shiny um, because then it will turn out weird in your headshots so I've just made sure that it's all quite matte and like I've got powder with me and stuff so it won't look too weird I'm hoping but I was debating for ages whether or not to wear makeup but I've looked at loads of people's headshots and it seems like people do a mix of different things so I feel like with a lot of decisions you've just got to like make a decision and then I think also like some people can build on their makeup throughout their headshot session depending on how long the headshot session is so I'm hoping it will be fine. So I'm back from the headshots now so I thought we could do a little debrief about how it went and some of the lessons that I've learned. Firstly I think the makeup like I don't know if you can see I don't know why I'm getting so close to the camera but the makeup was fine. I think I always feel like I'm wearing more makeup than I actually am and actually it's not too much and it's fine. Another lesson I learned is I took this bag and I think some of the clothes got a bit creased in it so I don't know if I would need to like iron clothes in the future if I do headshots to make sure that they're not creased and also take them in a suitcase or something because I tried to roll them up nicely and like keep them in a way that would keep them flat but some stuff was just quite creased. Also, I've been reflecting a lot mindset wise because I have had one headshot done before, but I've never had a set of headshots done before. And having a photo taken of me in that kind of way, I just have always found quite intimidating, I guess. It's something that has scared me. But I think the narratives we tell ourselves are so powerful. And I went in saying like, I've never done a headshot session like this before, which is obviously kind of in a way, maybe it's good to let people know but also maybe I could have gone in with a different mindset and told myself something different and told myself, let's enjoy this and make the most of this experience. I could have gone with that. Like I tried to go with that a bit, but I could have gone with that a bit more because I don't think it's always helpful to be like, oh, I've not done this before and I'm really scared of doing it. Like telling yourself that and saying it out loud is maybe not a good idea because it's just left me with things to think about with regards to nerves because I don't really get nervous before auditions, but I don't know whether it's good to acknowledge nerves and whether there's confidence and power in that or whether it's good to just like gaslight yourself and lie to yourself and tell yourself you're not nervous and tell yourself it's excitement and like to enjoy the experience like that's something that I'm just reflecting on with how I want to proceed with these kind of situations mindset wise in the future but I got my headshots taken by Tanisha White and she was so so nice and, and she really directed me quite well to find so much range within all of the different images and for each outfit I did I had a different hairstyle and I also had a different background color which I think is so nice because I think it will really help the images feel really different to each other which is what I really want so I think moving forward now my approach with picking the images will be to really make the most of that range because I think there's a lot of different range within the photos we took and I don't want to be picking photos that all look the same because I think there can be a trap people fall into where they're like these pictures are the ones that I feel look flattering to me and we're not trying to look like models we're trying to look like our casting type and different characters so I really want to make the most of the range and not pick images that I think I look best in necessarily but pick the ones that are like different to each other so I have a really good contrast so I'm really excited actually because I feel like we've got so 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 much range in the pictures that we took and I feel like I spent so long with the same one headshot that it will be nice to be able to show casting directors and moving forward have different images to choose between when I'm submitting myself for roles it will be nice to put these images on my spotlight as well and I just think it's good to have the different images because it's something that I've really needed for a while to have more than one headshot and so this has been my head Headshot preparation video I will link to Tanisha in the description in case you want to get your headshots done with her I would really really recommend going with her as a headshot photographer and thank you so much for watching bye